Hey everyone, our topic today is fourth grade fractions, part one. Our lesson focus today is on whole fractions. Whole fractions are fractions that have the same numerator and the same denominator. You remember that fractions have three parts. We have the fraction bar. The top number is called the numerator and the bottom number is the denominator. And a whole fraction has the same numerator and the same denominator. In this case, for example, we would read this fraction as 3 thirds, and it's modeled here. You can see that in the circle we have 1, 2, 3 total pieces. That's our denominator. And 1, 2, 3, all of them are shaded green. And the main lesson that we want to walk away today is that a whole fraction is always equal to one whole. Remember your fraction basics that fractions equal uh, represent an equal part or parts of a whole. Uh, it could be, for example, just one whole shape, a circle, a rectangle, or a square. In this case, I'm seeing if I write a fraction for this rectangle here, our total would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That would be our denominator on the bottom. The number of shaded would be 1, 2, 3, 4. So this would represent a fraction of 4 eighths. But notice that the pieces are equal. For fractions, it has to be equal. You could also have fraction of a set. If I were to write a fraction for this set of oranges, I have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That would be my uh, denominator on the bottom. And the number of oranges that are left would be 1, 2, 3. That's the numerator on top. Remember that when you read a fraction correctly, you read from top to bottom. We would read this as 3 thirds. And you use like an ordinal number for your bottom. There are four types of fractions that you probably want to know. Our lesson focus today is on whole fractions. And remember that whole fractions have the same numerator and denominator, and we see it modeled here, 3 thirds, and we have 1, 2, all of it is shaded, and we said that that would equal 1. Proper fractions are fractions where the numerator is less than the denominator. For example, 2 thirds, notice the number on top, 2, is less than the bottom number, which is 3. And that's modeled right here. We have out of 1, 2, 3, if I were to rewrite that fraction, only 2, 1, 2 are shaded. So that would be called a proper fraction. An improper fraction is where the numerator is greater than the denominator. In other words, the top number, for example, here, 4 thirds, notice that the 4 on top is greater than the 3 on the bottom, and that's called an improper fraction. You could show it over here that we have a total of, if I look at these as thirds, what these are thirds, and this, we have a total of 1, 2, 3 thirds here, but this one over here would represent a fourth. We could also write this as 3 thirds for the first model, and for the second model would be 1, third. And if you were to add that up, 3 plus 1 is 3. Excuse me, 4. And then the bottom would be thirds. So 4 thirds. The last kind of fraction would be mixed numbers. And mixed numbers is when we have a whole number and a fraction. For example, here, 1 and 1 third is called a mixed number. If you look at the model, here we have one whole, and we add that to one third here on the right, and that would equal a total of one and one third. Remember that fractions are related to division. Fractions are basically a division statement. You divide the numerator by the denominator, or in other words, the top is divided by the bottom. And I can illustrate that to you with a calculator. 
for example, three thirds, if I divide three, which we see right here, push the divide button, by three on the bottom, and I equal, notice that it equals one whole. That would be true with every whole fraction. For example, 12 twelfths, let's see what happens there. 12, I type in 12, divided by the 12 on the bottom, and push equal. Notice that that also equals one whole. So a fraction can represent a division statement, and we'll get into that more later when we do money problems, but keep that in mind. Remember that all whole fractions equal one. For example, here we have three different models. This fraction equals one whole, but it also equals three thirds. We have one, two, three are shaded, that's our top of the numerator, out of a total of one, two, three total, so three thirds. Here in the middle, we have the fraction four fourths. One, two, three, four are shaded, that's our top, and out of a total of one, two, three, four total is the bottom. But remember, that is also equal to one whole, as we see the whole is shaded. The last one we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And eight are shaded. And that would be equal to one whole. So all fractions, it doesn't matter even if you had a very large fraction. Just say if I would say 36 over 36, guess what? That is going to equal one whole. So all whole fractions equal one. All right, everybody, I hope this was helpful. Remember that today our lesson focus was on uh, fractions and especially whole fractions. Whole fractions are fractions that have the same top and bottom. In other words, the same numerator and the same denominator. And that whole fractions always equal what? They always equal one. And we've displayed that in model form today. All right, thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time.